Okay, now each of our candidates get a one-minute closing statement, the order of which was determined by a coin toss. Mr. Markey, your first, your 60-second closing statement. Thank you. Um, our country is right now confronted with multiple crises. The soul of our country is on fire. I know why I'm running for the United States Senate. I want to bring the values that I learned at the kitchen table in Malden, growing up with my father who drove a truck for the Hood Mill Company and a mother who had to work very hard as a young girl because her mother had died and she had to run her, raise her three younger sisters. I'm running in order to make sure we have Medicare for all, that everyone gets it. I'm running to make sure that we have a Green New Deal so we can save this planet and create millions of new jobs. I'm running to make sure that we root out the racial injustice that's built into our economic system, health, educational, and criminal justice system in our country. I know that we must wage these fights. Martin Luther King said that the arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends towards justice. We have to put all of our hands on that arc and bend it together so that we fight for the soul of our country. I ask for the vote of the people of Massachusetts so that we can accomplish that goal. Thank you, Mr. Markey. Mr. Kennedy, your 60-second closing statement. Thank you. You deserve more from your center. This moment will not break us, but it will define us. This is our chance to build something better because at this moment we know that our normal was broken. Normal is an essential worker that cannot earn a living wage. Normal is health care that the sick cannot afford. Normal is a system that allows black and brown lives to be taken in our streets. Normal is a country that let George Floyd die. We can be so much bigger than this and so much better than it, but we will not deliver on that change with the same individuals and the same mindset and the same policies that have brought us the last 50 years. This moment can be the time that we make that change. I humbly ask for your vote. I want to thank both of our candidates again for agreeing to participate in tonight's debate and a special thank to the representatives of our debate partners who post questions tonight. That's Dr. Robert Johnson, Chancellor of UMass Dartmouth and Rebecca Hyman, an editor with the Gannett Newspapers of Massachusetts. And we want to thank our viewers for tuning in from Western Massachusetts to Berkshire County to right here in Southeastern Massachusetts.